hey guys it's phase one once again with another video today we're going to go through the roadmap roundup which was released just a few days ago from cig just wanted to quickly run that through run through that with you guys and um so if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe if you haven't already we do all kinds of starts and content and uh, i also stream on twitch every tuesdays thursdays and saturdays so make sure to follow me there as well if you're interested all right so without any further ado let's let's get ourselves into it all right so they made some changes to the progress tracker um so that these deliveries have been added to the progress tracker so rest stop hanger replacement so they're saying that creating exterior pieces for small and medium hangers that allowed them to look and function properly as part of the overall space station exteriors so right now at the space stations there are exterior hangers right now all the exterior hangers for space stations are the large ones so what they want to do is they want to add small and medium hangers as well in addition to just the large one so i believe um i'm interested to see how they're gonna do this as long as they keep the pads i kind of like the pads i kind of like the idea of walking to the um walking outside and seeing the the um space clouds and, and things of that nature so i think it is beautiful to be able to walk outside so i kind of want to be able to sometimes spawn on a pad and sometimes spawn um in a medium or a small hanger as well so i think uh i think it's it's a good addition i just hope they don't remove the pads all right so the next thing that they added was atmospheric pressure damage so it says atmospheric pressure damage is damage is a damaged player npcs or ships will receive in situations where exterior pressure exceeds the pressure resistance of the corresponding ship armor or suit so they're adding this specifically because of the new gas giant crusader um, with the volumetric clouds. So I know people will be trying to people will be trying to fly all the way into the gas cloud to see how far they can go, which is the reason why they're adding this. They don't want people flying all the way through to it. So the deeper you go, the um, the more pressure your ship or your suit will have to sustain and what they're doing is they're going to be adding this new attribute called atmospheric pressure damage on each ship and suit so depending on how low you go the more damage um your ship will receive and depending on this this uh attribute here will determine how low you can actually go uh, without sustaining damage all right so that looks like it's a it's a nice new addition and i think they're doing it specifically to prevent people from um accessing going further into crusader itself so that makes sense so space uh space scaping utilizing gas cloud tech uh vdb don't know what that is elements will be crafted to uh space scaping the environment of squad of 42 so this this is nice it seems like um this is probably going to be related yeah this is going to be cloud tech they did show a little bit of the cloud tech with the coil itself in squad of 2 i think they showed that in i think last year or the year before they showed that in one of the previews that they did so um i guess they're still continuously working on that so i i'm kind of excited to see what's what it's going to look like now but uh so that's a nice piece refinery ships this is one of the things i'm really excited about it says Certain ships will be will have refinery uh, refineries built in into them, allowing players to process or using a completely onboard process. So this is going to be a really interesting mechanic because um, it's going to be the last piece missing in regards to the whole mining process. Though. So the refinery ship right now we have miners and we have haulers, right? and the missing piece are refinery ships so the addition of refinery ships is going to add um let's say uh, it's going to allow the whole operation to be able to happen on the field without having to go to a natural station um to actually refine so and it's going to be an active process when you're refining when you're on the refinery ship and you're refining itself so I think it's going to be it's that missing piece and it's going to bring some interesting gameplay for both um lawful and unlawful players this is a really nice piece i'm excited to see it 
one of the refineries ships that are in the game right now are is the the starfarer and the starfarer is meant to refine a uh, cloud meant to extract and refine cl um, gas clouds to produce to produce fuel so i know that that's going to be in and i know that um they're going to have a refinery ship to process metals and um minerals from the ores that the prospectors and the moles um um extract so that's going to be interesting i'm kind of excited to see that refinery ship um i think that's going to be a cool ship to also check out all right so it says rune stations it says more time and resources are being allocated to the rest of the pyro system therefore we are temporarily moving the deliverables for from the progress tracker until it's scheduled and uh its schedule has been finalized so which is interesting I'm, I'm assuming that this is the derelict stations i'm assuming um i'm interested to see how these derelict stations are going to work um what it will they will they be completely um unfunctioned like will they be completely um not usable or would they be partly usable i'm also interested to see like the kind of loop we'll be able to find there and i think there are some of these uh rune stations will probably be going to be some pvp zones as well so it's going to be some interest it's going to add some interesting pieces especially in the pyro system so i'm really excited to see how that's going to look um environmental gameplay so the um, eu mpu gameplay feature team is allocating resources uh in q4 to refinery ships so we're removing the deliverable temporarily until we have been put back onto the schedule once again it's in relation to the refinery gameplay which we're going to be receiving by the end of this year so that's exciting um deliverables have been passed their final review and therefore i've been toggled their cars to commit it and change their colors to blue so yes of course evil card already has their hands on crusader and oris in the land zone and the volumetric cloud so that's currently in right now and is being tested ship interior and exterior calling this deliverable has been renamed to ship interior oc streaming and has been given a more accurate description okay that's fine i think this is going to help um optimize things once this is fully in so i'm really excited to to see the difference um once once they have this in all right so now let's look at the roadmap real quick and see um so crusaders in is currently being tested by evil Cardi. um orison landing zone is also in which is currently being tested by evil Cardi. all right um gameplay so for those that don't know, power management V2 is more so the capacitor. They're going to be um, they're going to be adding capacitors onto ships as a component, I believe. And the way you'll have to do it is you have to manage the power systems. Um, your capacitor will accumulate a certain amount of power that you can re reallocate to certain systems depending on what you're doing. So if you're in combat and you want to uh, give your shields a boost, you can direct power to that. If you want to give uh, more power to your weapons to increase your dps for a short period of time you can do that as well so it's going to be an interesting once um it's going to be an interesting piece in addition to the combat aspect of things so i'm really excited for that piece um another big thing that i'm really excited for is the radar scanning and ping piece as well it's going to be it's, it's looking really good i really love the ui I, I really love the way it's looking i'm kind of interested to see in addition to this there's also there's also going to be components that you're going to have to buy you're going to have to buy radars and um so ships are going to have radars installed in which you can swap out you can buy new ones and upgrade them so i'm kind of excited to see the different kind of radars and how they work and, and things of that nature so it's one of the things i'm really excited about um, you guys let me know what you guys think about this uh, in the comments below all right um missile guidance system of course this one they did show an isc on this there's going to be a three stage um missiles are going to go through a three stage uh process in, re in regards to when they're launched and how they're going to engage the target so um i did a, a video on this not too long ago so you guys can go and check that out as well missile operator mode is also another piece that i'm really excited about and um what it will allow is will allow um a natural co-pilot to also have a, a natural role uh to perform while on a multi-crew ship 
Um, so that means the pilot can focus on just flying and trying to keep their the pips on the target while the co-pilot can focus on launching the missiles and things of that nature. What I'm kind of nervous about is if you're in a fighter, right? Is it going to be a daunting process to switch between missile operator mode and your regular mode, your regular flight mode? That's kind of what I want to want to see. Um, I hope it's not too uh, cumbersome, but we'll have to see. All right. So the next piece is the law system version two surrender. So this is going to be a very big piece and I'll tell you guys why surrendering what what this what this does is when you're in combat right now the way it's going to work when you're in combat with npcs and you know you're going to lose you'll have the option to stop your ship and turn off your vehicle at that point you'll have um, an inner thought option to surrender so now when you do surrender you'll go to jail but with a reduced sentence because you surrendered but if you don't surrender and they kill you then you go to jail for um your full sentence so that's that's essentially what it's going to be about but this is going to be a big piece uh for future editions like death of the spaceman and the medical gameplay coming in right so that is going to be a very important thing if you die you lose your gear you lose some attributes of your character as well you lose the integrity of your character over time so it's going to be disadvantageous to choose to die right so that's why they're adding this piece now because what's coming in the future patches is going to rely on the ability to surrender as well all right so all right so that's gameplay ships so the canvas slice and ship huds this is looking very beautiful um, I'm really excited about it. It has a new 3D look. I'm going to be doing a, a future video on this to, to kind of explain the new UI. Um, but um, yeah, so different manufacturers will eventually have their own UI. But right now, I think the UI that's coming in right now, um, I think Aegis might have one. But uh, right now, I think all ships are going to get an update in terms of the UI. It's going to look a lot more streamlined and it's looking really, really cool. So I'm kind of excited to get my hands on this as well. All right, and then the Constellation Taurus is also coming in. It's looking nice. I didn't think it'll look as good as it does, but right now from the recent ISC, it does look really cool. So I'm kind of excited to see it as well. I'm also interested to see the amount of cargo it can actually hold. And uh, that way we could see exactly where it sits in terms of cargo haulers. All right, and I think the last piece will be the... Uh, planetary volumetric cloud of course this is coming in with crusader and um yeah this is coming in with crusader and i event eventually it will transition over to the other planets after they've uh, fixed everything with crusader and make and just to make sure everything is working as expected all right so if you're if you haven't already make sure to subscribe uh let me know in the comments below what you think of some of the things that we just went through let me know in the comments below all right i will see you on the next one.